Hello, hello, hello. Shalom, everyone. This is Tay Janice. I'm here with another word from the Lord today. Amen. I just want to jump right into this message that the Holy Spirit has given to me to give to you. So the title of this message is, He Saw Who Left You. Yes, He Saw Who Left You. And this message may not be for everyone. This message may just be for one or two people. But if this word is for you, then the Lord saw that whoever this person is, they should not have ever left you. They should not have ever mistreated you. They should not have ever abandoned you. They should not have ever neglected you. And for many of you, the Holy Spirit allowed me to know that you went out of your way for this person. You went out of your way to love them, to care for them. And you did things that were outside of your character that you know that you wouldn't normally do. And the Holy Spirit is allowing you to know that he's rewarding you and he's lifting you up. There are so many things that you could have done in this situation, but instead of trying to get back at this person or be on some get back, you ran to the Lord. And I want to give you the scripture that the Holy Spirit has given to me to give to you. Well, this scripture is going to be coming from the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter 27, beginning at the 10th verse. It says, even if my father and my mother leave me, the Lord will still take care of me. Hallelujah, glory be to God. It says, even if my father and my mother leave me, the Lord will still take care of me. So the Lord wants you to know that no matter who left you, who turned their backs against you, who abandoned you, who attention you craved the most, who you, who you wanted to be with, who you wanted to have a life with, the Lord is allowing you to know that he's lifting you up in this season. He's lifting you up in this season. And those same people, for many of you, it could have been your spouse. It could have been your um, a relationship that you may be in, a friendship. Whoever this message is for, this message may not be for everyone. But if this message is for you, the Lord has already been speaking to your heart and your mind about this, allowing you to know that this is confirmation. You put so much energy into this person, so much effort into it. And now, for many of you, you are already back a part of this person's life. And it's because, it's because your father going to take care of you. Whatever it is that the Lord has started within you, he's going to finish it. You best believe the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to those who will endure to the end. Let's do a quick prayer. Spirit of the living God, we thank you in advance for this message that you've given to us. Father, I pray that you touch each and every person that's under the sound of my voice. Sound us the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So you, you better believe that those same people who you are with right now, if, a, if the Lord allowed this relationship to come back together, this marriage to come together, and if he hasn't done it just yet, if it hasn't happened yet, he's about to do it. Those people were not supposed to leave you. They were not supposed to turn their backs on you. But the Lord is lifting you up because you've been about your father's business. And for many of you, you can't even believe that you're in this person's presence. And neither can they believe you're in their presence because they thought that they were done with you. And they're looking at you like, how did you get here? <laughs> Nobody's supposed to be here, but you are here. You are here. Because the Lord has came alone and changed their mind, changed their heart. They were not supposed to leave you. They were not supposed to go anywhere at all. But your father has taken care of you. He's lifted you up and he's brought you right back in the presence of those people who should have never left, who should have never gone nowhere. Even if it's with family, their reconciliation, they weren't supposed to leave. They weren't supposed to go nowhere. God is doing this thing. Some of you have asked God to repair this relationship, repair this, repair this marriage. God, I know I did things outside of my character. I know I did things just to receive from people, just to receive attention, just to receive affection. And it feels like when I did that, I got hurt. And God is just allowing me to know that once you left that thing inside of my hands, though they slay me, though he slay me, yet will I still trust him. Because you trusted God in this situation. You've allowed God to get down in the good thing and the bad thing with you. Mm, and you did not get even with this situation. The Lord is about to lift you up in this relationship. He's lifting you up in this marriage. He's lifting you up with your family. These folks shouldn't have never left. <laughs> they shouldn't have never left. And now, those same people, you're in front of their faces right now. For many of you, you with them right now. 
they weren't supposed to go nowhere. That's why you're back again. This is why you're back with this person again. That the Lord was not finished with this relationship. He was not finished with this marriage. You didn't go all the way through this for nothing. But this is going to be your testimony. This is going to help bring other people out. Some people leave out of fear. Some people leave because, you know, they're stubborn. You know, they don't want to listen to the Lord. They don't want to be obedient. But you see, obedience, obedience is better than a sacrifice. And sometimes the sacrifice is the obedience. So they were not supposed to leave and go anywhere. And God got them right back where they should have been the whole time. But for many of you, God is bringing that person right back in your life. Because they should have never left you. Your father has lifted you up. Mm. I don't know who this message is for today. This message is for somebody today. You don't worry about what went left, what went right. Who left this way or who left that way. God is bringing that person back. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this message. Father God, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom in the Lord. Many peace in the Lord. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Lord downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Holy Spirit gives to me to give to you. You guys, this is our year of answered prayers, and we are not stopping until we make hell nervous. The enemy should know that by now. If this message is for you, Jesus. And you know that the Lord is speaking to you through this message. Mm, go ahead and sow into this ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. Amen. If you want to just be a blessing to this ministry, go ahead and sow. But if the Lord has laid it on your heart to sow and this is your message, go ahead and do it. Um, and when you sow, so expecting to reap a harvest. So expecting God to get down in a good and bad thing with you. Do like the widow woman did. When she sold into the prophet's hand, God multiplied it. Trust and believe that God is going to multiply in your life. Mm, Jesus, he's multiplying that marriage and that relationship and that family and that, reu that reuniting that God is doing right now. This message is heavily for somebody today. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Our faith is the only thing that pleases the Lord. What's for me is for me. Mm, God is getting down in this thing with you. You putting that devil on the full-blown depression because he don't see how you got that marriage back, that relationship back. He don't even see that the very same people who left, they, should, they shouldn't have never left. And the Lord saw who left you. He saw that they weren't supposed to go nowhere. That's why he bringing them back, because he saw that. <laughs> they weren't supposed to go nowhere. How did you get here, the Lord? How did you get here, the Lord? And I'm coming to stay. I'm here to stay. God's got me. God's got you. He's lifting you up in this thing, baby. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People been asking me how can they sell. You can do so by Cash App. I know I'm just sending little hands up to let you know I got it. Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, Super Thanks. Thank you guys for your gifts. So PayPal, Zelle, Super Thanks. Wait a minute. PayPal, Zelle, Super Thanks. I believe that's it. I don't do any checks at this time. Amen. Well, I love you guys with the love of Christ. If you need a prayer request, go ahead and send it to me. Just be patient with me. I love you guys for the love of Christ. You already know there's nothing you can do about it. You know I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.